a long time ago, I was gonna make a video about what is the best sword for home defense, right? Mm -hmm. And originally I was gonna make it as a joke, and then I was gonna make it for real, because I started experimenting and I was like, I think this can work. Maybe you don't have access to firearms where you live, maybe you're unwilling to own a firearm, maybe you can't, whatever. Sure. I actually think a sword can be legit. I have a list of rules that I think make a good melee weapon for self-defense. But then some HEMA nerd called Shadowversity made a video oh, yeah. using my rules mm -hmm. and the guy came to the same conclusions about what the best sword for self-defense really is. Like he, he said exactly what I was going to say in the video. Does that make you a, a non-HEMA nerd? So I said, what kind of video can I make? Sure. And you've done some HEMA and some of these other things. I right? have, I've dipped. Here's what I think. Okay. I think a sword and shield for home defense is legit. But I think that uh, HEMA is unnecessary and stupid. So Cliff is a home invader. I hear him kicking the front door in. I've retrieved my trusty sword and buffler. Go! <laughs> yeah, he grabbed the sword. But because I had this, I think this makes the difference. Let's let Eric, he, had, he wanted the bat. Eric's got the bat. There you go. But real quick, if you know anything about swords, or even if you don't know anything about swords, comment down below what you think the best type of sword would be for self-defense. I'm still exploring options. I'm still considering doing more videos about it. And do you know what else? They're putting Ronda Rousey in Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is the sponsor of this video, and I am jealous. I want to be in a video game. For now, I just have to settle for playing Raid Shadow Legends. It's completely free to play. I was blown away by the graphics. I like that it's turn-based, because I'm old, and <laughs> it's easier for me. <laughs> If you're watching this, you're probably an intersection of guy that's into fantasy RPGs and guy that's into martial arts. And the fact that we can now summon Ronda Rousey as a champion in this game is crazy. And you can get Ronda for free right, right now. You just have to play for seven days between now and February 20th. And she looks awesome. Ronda, head movement. Head movement. Head movement. Oh no! You can use code RAID RONDA to get a bunch of bonuses. Also, if you're an Amazon Prime member, which isn't everybody, you can get your exclusive rewards in RAID right now. And if you haven't started playing RAID yet, click the link in the description below or scan the QR code on the screen to get unique bonuses that are worth $30. We're talking a free Epic Champion Tayrell, 200,000 silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and one ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions in game as soon as you can. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. It's available for 30 days for new players, and once you're in-game, come find me under Icy Mike, and if you're fast enough, you can join my clan. Huzzah, scoundrel. <laughs> Boom, the door pops open. Eric comes in. Uh, he's been watching fight tips. He's got his mouth guard in. We're fighting. He's <laughs> horrible. <laughs> Thrusting, I think, is the thing. Mm, okay. I'm thinking if I shove this in your face yep. and then thrust behind it and I have no specialized just HEMA training, yeah. I think I'm wrecking like 95% of dudes. No matter what, they, if they don't have a gun, if they have a gun and I'm more than 21 feet away, yeah, right. uh, they're going to get me. And if they have a gun and it's already out and pointed at me, they're going to get you no That's matter what. Tough. So Kamori thinks he's going to start ready to attack. Uh, go! Hey, you got me. hey, he got me. I don't know if you were too close or what. He got me pretty good right there. But at the expense of, like, literally the worst sword shot that you could get. I should have yeah. tucked my... Yeah, that, that's what you should have. You should have energized your neck to put the blade off. Hopping into HEMA classes to uh, HAMA classes to ninjutsu stuff and sparring with yeah. weapons, simply the ability to understand range and adapt to range pretty quickly. Yeah. I'm a problem immediately. I think you take an MMA fighter, give him a sword for a couple hours, he's a problem for yeah. any HEMA class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring I a HEMA dude 
to a boxing class or an MMA class, yeah. it's not the same. It's not the same 100%. Now that I think about last time I invaded a home, I think it was me and a friend. Okay. <laughs> Touche. Good point. Oh no, two guys. Ta-da! All right, go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already dead. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. you, got, you got the one that mattered. He said, I want to make sure he did. Hold on, Pope. <laughs> well, you can't be sure. Yeah. Largely, edged weapon stoppages are psychological stoppages, so I have to be sure. <laughs> Hema's fine. I think it's unnecessary and kind of dumb if your goal is home defense or self defense. Mm -hmm. If you want to learn how to sword fight with other dudes who are sword fighting, have at thee. But I'm saying that a relatively competent martial artist can pick up a sword and within a few hours, probably wreck just about anybody that comes in his front door. All right, you ready? And go. Oh, he's cautious. Yeah. I can't see. But I don't think caution is necessary. <laughs> Shot. Uh, opportunity to be injured. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, there's a the wrong guy to give a bat. Oh. Nice, Ah, you got me in the arm. Oh, He's chasing him out of the house. He's chasing him out of the house. Oh. Oh. I mean, he got me. It would make sense that the athletic guy that played baseball could whip a baseball bat around. The D2 baseball player. Yeah. There's a few of them that I totally agree. Anything that is not the longest range. I think fencing yeah. won't translate at all. I think the, the MMA guys would have such a hard time with fencing. So I'm glad you said that because you know what I think it is? I think it's the speed of the weapon. You know what I thought of? Stick fighting? Yeah. I would have problems stick fighting because the weapon is so... Fast? I was gonna say, if it's like a good, legit dude, yeah, you might get one, but they'll probably get two. Yeah. But the thing is, one's enough. Hey, if you were gonna, you got it's like snot in your nose. Like, come on, come on. Come on. All, right. All right. If you were doing a home invasion on me or a break in, okay. maybe you know I'm home, maybe you don't know I'm home. But either way, I'm gonna be home. I'm letting you know that okay. now. Um, and you weren't bringing a gun. What would you rather bring in on a burglary or home invasion or something like that? Um, baseball bat, some kind of blunt force instrument. Okay. The viewer at home is like, wait a minute, didn't he just watch us do all this? Nope, this is a different day. He wasn't here. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, God. You got a shield. You got me, you got me twice in the head. You're not in the hallway. Oh, oh that's right. He did the smart thing, he did short shots instead of trying to baseball bat swing it. He got me twice in the right eye both times. Let's run that again. You can be a little more creative, you know? Now you see what I got, it's fine. It's not exactly realistic, but you know what it is? Chaotic. A lot of fun. Yeah. All right. Uh, note to self, sword fire your camera actually doesn't work. I don't think yeah. it's this. I think it's this. Right. I think right. that makes it like. Right, because if I'm coming in, it's like, okay, now you screwed. Yeah. It's like a parry I, almost. It's yeah. It's like parry, yeah. boom. It's a free shot. Right. What we've settled on is it's a free shot. I want to try something else real quick. Whenever I show knife stuff, when we did the knife dueling stuff, you know, we, or even when we did like the clinch work with thing, everyone's talking about the Hema like, like uh, dagger training, da you know, sure. the, all the stuff, and it's in the manuals and yada, it's in the ancient texts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit's unnecessary. Nowhere else do we say, oh, if you want to know the real way to do it, you got to go back in time. Yeah. Like, think if you did. Yeah. If it was medicine, yeah. but if you were hurt, it's like, yeah. no, 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 don't use that machine. Somebody get the leeches. Get some leeches on this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Why in fighting is it like, no, you need to go back to the old way of doing things? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. We have lots of data about how violence occurs and how bodies move. Yeah, I think it comes down to too much thinking about it. And if I think about it and I'm like, they dealt with violence way more often than we do, yeah. they would know better. But we share information at a vastly superior rate. The mindset, sure. Okay. But the information and the technique, how, how could it have gotten worse? It makes no sense to have gotten worse over time. Now I want you to do it empty handed and see what that changes in form. Get out of my house! Oh uh, no, I'm gonna get all your shit. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. I think, I think that same shit happens to a Hema nerd. I sympathize for this kind of stuff as a karate boy, because what happens is when you think about something too much, is you just, you, you overdo it. Right. Um, it's, when, when you're a beginner, a punch is just a punch and a kick is just a kick. Yeah. And then, I don't know who said this. It's some quote I think somewhere. it was me. Yeah, I think you were famous for saying, but then as I you become so. more advanced, they become more complicated, but then when you achieve mastery, punch is just a punch and a kick is just a kick. Yeah, exactly. Oh no! Pour the pizza. Ah! Little safe Upstairs. You, did you bring help? <laughs> My hands gone. Tell me, is it one, two, three, four, five? There we go. Now I'm blocking this. I got the back of the leg. <laughs> 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 My problem is when people insert HEMA in conversations about that's the real way to use the weapon. Like yeah. that's how you defend yourself with the weapon. Yeah. It's like I've never taken a HEMA class. I've never taken. I've never read a read a fucking scroll about dagger fighting. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. But dude, I've had lots of rounds of trying to take one of these and stick it in a dude and keep him from doing it to me. Yeah. Like, because the very first thing I did, I went like that. Right. Right. And then he whacked me in the face with a baseball bat. Right. It's hard to know. That's why I laugh when people are so sure. Oh, if you want to know the real truth about using a dagger, where are you getting this data from? Yeah. You killed someone before? <laughs> exactly. Right. And you know what they'll do? They'll cite like, well, it's, uh, uh, history is written by the victors. I'm like, man, you ever heard a dude tell a story about a fight he lost? <laughs> right? He's like, oh, I got jumped. They had brass knuckles, all that shit. You ever hear a dude tell a story about a fight he won? He's just as full of shit. He's like, oh yeah, I was like this, and I was like, boom, and I was like, dip, dip, dip. And really, it was two guys going like this. <laughs> Until one of them fell down. Everybody's full of shit after a fight. And I think that the constant pressuring from sparring, rolling, grappling, and MMA rounds yeah. means that an MMA fighter with a sword is more dangerous than a HEMA fighter with a sword. <sighs> <sighs> Oh my god. We gotta stop doing this at the end of sparring. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I am. Lightheaded. Yeah, big time. Uh, so I just read a thing not too long ago and I was trying to use it is, you know how castle staircases are designed? Uh -huh. Is so you can have the shield, and you have the wall, and 
So I, when I'm coming down, I have the advantage. Oh, and I'm when coming he's up. he's coming up, my sword is here. I can't. Oh, yeah. And so that's how they're designed. So I was trying to get you close to the wall with the sword. Wait a minute. Like, if I had a sword, I'd have been like. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, you're doing. That means you were doing Hema. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. You don't need to do Hema. <laughs> you're kind of messing with the premise of my video, right? <laughs> You sure this is a good idea? I don't think it is. <laughs> Dude, come on, just one. No, if just one of us has a sword, not too much stuff can go wrong. No, 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 I don't, there's just not enough room in the hallway. I right, think. that's the point. It, it illustrates like a, a real environment. We just got those painted. I just don't want, you're gonna, and you're not gonna be like cute with it. You guys are gonna bang into the wall. We're gonna be so cute with it. Look at it. Look how cute it looks. Don't do that. Like he, he already like hit the curtain with the sword and he was just playing. It's just not gonna work. <laughs>